Hey guys, and today's from the install bay. We're gonna show you how we make one of those underseen amp mounts. So check it out. Today we're gonna install this brand new Kenwood Exelon X801-5. It's a new 510 lamp. It's super small and compact, which means it'll fit great underneath the seat in this WRX. So why don't we get to it? So the first thing we always want to do is make sure that the amp is going to fit underneath the seat. So we slid the seat all the way forward. Before we're done, we're going to actually take the seat out, or at least unscrew it so we can get underneath it and work a little bit easier. So we'll set the seat in there. Go ahead and get this out of the way. And then we have this nice lip right here that we can use to mount to. I don't know what's in the front yet, but as we can see, the amp fits pretty well up underneath there. So let's go ahead and slide the seat back and forth and make sure it doesn't hit. So clearly the amp's not going to hit anything. Uh, it's a really small amp. They're pretty sexy. Uh, so now we're going to go ahead and unscrew the seat bolt so we can lean the seat forward so we can take a look and see how we want to build our panel. Do we want to attach it to the back here or do we want to attach it to the front? Let's do that. Okay, so we've gone ahead and unscrewed all the seat bolts and we've let the seat fold back. Now what we're going to do is test fit the amplifier and find out if we want to mount it to the front or mount it to the rear. Now, here and here, there are two AC vents located. Uh, so if we move the amp towards the front, that might have blocked them some. So we're thinking that the, or I'm thinking, <laughs> that the back mount is probably going to be the better mount for this. So what we want to do now is go ahead and take some measurements. Now a couple other things we've noticed is that there's holes here and here which will be good for running our wire. So we don't want to block those with the plate that we're going to make. Okay, so we have all our measurements taken. We're going to go ahead and take this over to the table saw and cut us some plastic. So we went ahead and put a round over into the ABS. This is quarter inch ABS, it's really strong. We went ahead and scored a line where we're going to bend it. So now let's put some heat to it and put a nice bend in it. Okay, so for this bend, we're going to take it in the car because the car had an angle to it. Okay, so we went ahead and made the last bend in the car because we wanted to make sure that this top piece was bent to the shape of the car itself. Sometimes they have a little U to them, which this one does have a little bit of U. Uh, so we want to make sure that that shape, not that it matters all that much, it's carpet, it's going to pull down flat anyways. It just, you know, makes me feel better. Um, so now what we're going to go ahead and do is screw the amp to it. Uh, and go ahead and do one last test fit before we get to all the wiring. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead, one last test fit, get it all centered up where we like it. That's gonna fit perfect. We still have the holes here that we wanted. Now we're gonna go ahead and drill two holes here and we're gonna put some um, rivets in it to hold the amp in place.
All right, guys, so we went ahead and we finished up. We have our amp mounted in place right now. The screws are there that's going to hold it. Uh, for the most part, we're done with the mounting system. Now it's onto the wiring and fun stuff like that. For this video, we just wanted to show you how we make our mounts. <laughs> I'll mount it. All right, guys, as usual, thank you for watching. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this one. You can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Uh, please keep coming back for more. We're, this is a new thing for us, so we hope you enjoy them. If you have any questions or anything like that, please feel free to leave them in the comments, and I will get back to you. Otherwise, you guys have a great day, and we'll see you next time. Bye.